So because of this, along with the significant increases in cases we've been experiencing in San Diego County, the tremendous strain on our healthcare system, which we've been documenting and sharing with you for weeks, uh, because of all of these factors, uh, we continue uh, to encourage the public and plead with the public to please uh, come together, especially over uh, the next 72 hours in the New Year's holiday, to please follow the public health orders. Uh, please avoid the temptation uh, to, to go about things as you normally would around this holiday season. We have to come together as a community uh, and we have to take decisive action to slow the spread uh, in our communities. And so we continue again to ask and request uh, out of a sake to save lives of those uh, on a day we have one of our highest totals in number of deaths uh, to reduce the strain. We, we've talked at length about the, the tremendous burden being borne by our frontline healthcare workers and our ICUs, uh, the number of cases and out of a desire to get these uh, cases under control so we can begin to resume aspects of our life. Uh, we continue to implore you. Uh, we have seen a number of entities that are advertising New Year's Eve parties, uh, advertising they want a party like it's 1999, but it's not 1999, it is 2020. And in 2020, we face a global pandemic. Uh, and so we need everyone. It isn't every New Year's Eve forever, it's just this New Year's Eve. Please take this serious. Uh, please understand the situation we face and let's find a way to come together as a community. 